Hello, Happy New Year! Welcome to the year 2020, our year of overflowing showers of blessings. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this brand new year. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that is connected. Thank you, Lord, for making us to witness 2020. Thank you because you are God and you will never fail. Thank you because as we started this January 1, 2020, thank you, Lord, because I know that we're going to witness December 31st, 2020 in the name of Jesus. If you tarry, you're coming. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I prayed. Amen. You're welcome to the year 2020. The reason why you see me now again is I observed that the live video that was recorded for the prophecy for the year 2020 was actually muted. I don't know what happened. The voice went off. Like I couldn't hear my voice. So I said, I need to do the video before the end of today. So that's the reason why I had to come on air. Although it's available on Facebook, but on YouTube, as uh, as the Lord has always inspired, I always come on air on the 30th or 31st of every year to tell us about what the Lord has for us in the year 2020. So I'm back by God's grace this January 1, 2020. And I know that the Lord Almighty would help us Give us the grace and we shall finish this year well in the name of Jesus. So I'm just going to quickly tell us what the Lord has for us. But if you want a, like a very, you know, like uh, elaborate one, just go on our Facebook page. I'll put the description in the description um, button. I'll let us know how you can connect on our Facebook page. So in this year, 2020, the Lord has spoken. Uh, I'm just going to quickly tell us what the Lord said. A present president, that is somebody that is current president, is going to pass away. Then he said, I'm going to read it as the Lord told me. He said, I'm returning soon. The time is ticking. You have heard this before, but the signs will become more evident in 2020. So you've heard it. You heard it last year. You've heard it consistently. I'm returning soon. But the Lord said in this year, 2020, it will be more evident. That's the signs in the in the book of Revelation. The signs that we're going to see, the seal opening and all of those things, the trumpet, the trumpet that will sound before the final trumpet is going to be evident in the year 2020. The Lord said that there'll be a major major assassination attempt on a political figure that will trigger civil war but my mercy will speak into that nation then the lord said that tell my tell those that claim to be my children but deny my holiness should be where cause who can stand my wrath so people that claim that they are children of god but yet you know you are denying the godliness of of jehovah's holiness and you you know like you know, that type of living a double life. The Lord said, it was a question that who can stand my rot? So what the Lord is telling us is to beware. Especially people that you are not, in, you know, you are up and down, pretend to be this and all that. The Lord said, tell those that claim to be my children, but deny my holiness should beware cause who can stand my rot. The Lord said, because the Lord, because I am coming, natural disaster will be privileged, will be more. UK will not leave Brexit. The moment the breakup happens, let those that serve me, serve me more. EU will be broken, leading for the Antichrist in this turmoil of Brexit to claim to solve the problem. So the Antichrist is going to emerge as a result of the crisis that will come as a result of this Brexit. That's what the Lord said. Then the Lord said a major figure will pass away. That is, this person is someone that if this person passes away, the nation the nation will need to close every activity. This year, the Lord is taking such individual home. The Lord said, don't mention the name. Then there will be a major shakeup in the in a system, in a, in a system like an, a family that they are the ones that control the nation. So there will be a major shakeup in that setting that would, you know, is something that doesn't really happen, but there will be a major shakeup that's never happened that will happen. The Lord said regarding America, he said, I have put Trump there because I'm doing a new thing in America. So all of the attempt of um, removing him and all of this is not going to happen. It's not going to because the Lord said he's doing a new thing in America. So that's what the Lord said in the ministry in foundation on a solid rock ministry. The Lord said is a new level dry bone will rise because the showers of blessings has been released and will begin to rain. That's what the Lord said. The Lord said in this year, in 2020, in the ministry, in foundation on the solid rock ministry, tell the barren in this year, they will carry their babies. Those that have been in, in, in the kneeling position will rise. That is those that, you know, you've been praying to God for certain things. You know, when, the, when your knees, you've been, you know, the Bible says feeble knees should arise. That is, you've been praying, praying regarding certain things in the year 20, in the previous years. In this particular year, it's time for you to arise because that testimony 
will make it to arise. People that have been pulled down, that people don't look down upon. This year, 2020, it's time for you to arise. The Lord said, few of my children will be called home in the church. Those that pretend to be light, but in secret, I, that, I, I do, they do things in darkness, will be exposed. The Lord said a gay pastor will be exposed. Then somebody, a major persecutor of the church, that is this person, that's his work. He just persecutes the church majorly, this individual. The Lord said, I will teach the person a lesson. The Lord put, put it, don't mention his name. More persecution and more division coming to the church. The more the persecution, the more the church will prosper. Then the Lord said, economically, the Lord said, you should buy land, you should buy property land in places that people are not even looking at now because it's going to be profitable. In foundation on a solid rock ministry, no money, no loss. It will be expansion, expansion. The Lord said, uh, before March, a new government will suddenly emerge, despite the fact that a government is in place because I uproot and plant. The Lord said that wilderness will be turned to water and those climbing will not fall. So if you're already at the top, you're not going to come down. And those that experience wilderness in 20, 2019 is going to be filled with, with water. That's what the Lord said. Then this is the final word. The Lord said, the Lord said I should read a word. That is in the book of John chapter 10, verse 9. John chapter 10, verse 9. That is the word for you. John chapter 10, verse 9, where the Lord said, I am the gate. And anyone that passes through him with pasture will go in and come out and have enough pasture. So please, that Bible passage, hold it throughout the year. People will bring ideas for you. People will bring suggestions that, why don't you do it this way? Why don't you do it that way? Don't listen to them because the Lord said, is the new, is the only way. There's no other way. Then the Lord said, as the ocean is calm, when it is not troubled and troubled when people go into the ocean, that is how this year will be. But for my children, there will be calmness. Door says the Lord. Cause is the one that said the Lord said when the Lord did not say. That is what the Lord has for us in this year, 2020. Paraventure, you are connected. You are not yet a child of God. As you heard the last prophecy that there will be calmness for his children. You need to be a child of God to experience and enjoy some benefits. If you are not a child of God, you can't enjoy those benefits. So what you need to do is just say these prayers after me. Start this new year with the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I renounce you, Satan, and your works. Give me the grace to finish this race well. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Amen. I'll pray with you, and then we'll finish. Father, Lord, King of kings, Lord of Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your children that have said the prayers of salvation. Father, you say by your word that by no means you can start anyone that comes to you. The sustaining grace to finish the race well, let it rest on each person that said this prayer, including myself. Let this year be a great year, as you have said, is our year of overflowing showers of blessings. Let us experience it. Give us the grace, Lord, my Father, not to abuse your grace. Let your mercy always prevail in every area of our life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So my God, my, by God's grace, we're going to be back again for other programs. So I apologize for people that tried to watch that um, earlier one and couldn't watch it. So I'm going to release this now for us to listen. Make sure you write it, write it down because whatever the Lord says, he never returns to him without performing his word. Have a wonderful year and the Lord Almighty keep you, shine his face upon you, protect you in the name of Jesus. Shalom. <music>